human rights organisations are urgently appealing for a prisoner of conscience to be released in Bahrain. Dr Abdul Jalil Al Singachi has been on a hunger strike for 160 days. The blogger, academic and former head of mechanical engineering at the University of Bahrain went on a hunger strike in protest over acts of torture that police inflicted upon prisoners following a riot in a Bahraini prison four months ago. Since then, he's subsisted on water, fizzy drinks and IV injections. Activists today gathered outside the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in London to demand his release. And members of the Bahraini Institute for Rights and Democracy, as well as English PEN, Index on Censorship and Redress, also called for the British government to put more pressure on the Bahraini authorities to end human rights abuses. Well, I'm now joined by Asma Darwish, who's head of the European Bahraini Organisation for Human Rights. Good evening, Asma. What do you know of his condition at the moment? Hello, dear. Actually, the health condition of Dr. Abdel Jalil Senges is very critical. It has been uh, 160 days uh, since he started his hunger strike, and uh, that's seriously a lot. And Bahrain needs to stop that and uh, to end his uh, hunger strike by um, by giving uh, what what he demands and to stop all the violations taking place in the country, and especially for the political and prisoners of conscience. Why should the UK get involved here? And indeed, if it did, would Bahrain listen? Well, we all know that the UK and Bahrain are close allies, and they have a lot of mutual interests. And uh, the UK should really pressure Bahrain to end the human rights uh, violations that uh, started severely and seriously since 2011, especially um, that, that those uh, violations that harm uh, the political prisoners inside the prisons, which we in human rights organizations, we count more than 4,000 political prisoners in such a tiny island in the Gulf. So it's very easy then to get locked up there in Bahrain. It is very much easy, yes. I was locked up one, one time in 2011, and my husband, who is also the chairman of the organization I work for, was tortured recently, like three months ago in Bahrain, and he was jailed. And uh, his father also is a prisoner of conscience who's sentenced to 15 years of imprisonment. So those, they're, they're both in prison at the moment? My husband was released on bail, but he is still on trial. And my father-in-law is still in prison since 2011, and he is a cellmate with Dr. Abdel Jalil Stengis. Well, well, the in, in the light of the authorities' point of view, these people have clearly done something wrong, otherwise they wouldn't be in jail. So why are they there? Their only charges are inciting hatred toward the regime and insulting the monarchy, yes. That is, that is basically the charges. What are the conditions like? You've actually experienced one of these jails. The conditions are really bad. Like, I, I witnessed that condition with my husband. Uh, it is really bad. It's cramped with people. Uh, it is, um, the, the cell is for eight people, but it, it accommodates more than 20 people inside it because there are a lot of political prisoners in prison and that those prisons do not fit all those people. Well, to, and let me just quickly ask you, not, just finally, yeah. from you talking here on, on television there, there clearly are a lot of people concerned about this and there's significant international pressure with 41 NGOs calling for his release, also the EU and the US uh, to get involved here. But with even what you're doing on national television, international television, and what these people are trying to do, will it actually have any impact whatsoever? We are trying our best to pressure Bahrain to act upon its, um, its uh, obligations toward the human rights um, standards and human rights uh, articles in, in the uh, International Declaration for Human Rights. And uh, we are trying, but you know, Bahrain is, is is not paying attention for for all those pressures and we don't we we still don't know why but we are continuing what we would do and will struggle for the for the freedom of those political uh, political prisoners asma darwish thanks very much indeed for joining us live here on rt uk